From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Here are some of the top stories on this Saturday. Six people have died in two wrong way crashes on state highways this morning. A portion of 91 North in Meriden was closed for hours this morning. State police say a wrong way driver collided with another vehicle about 2.30 this morning. In the northbound lane right near exit 17, two people died in that crash. And in Hartford, part of 84 was closed after another wrong way crash. Four people died. Police say they responded to the scene right near exit 5 at about 2.45 this morning. A rally will be held today at 1 o'clock at the state capitol in Hartford to support Ukraine. Ukrainians here in Connecticut and their families are continuing to hold on to hope. We need to create more awareness and just demonstrations. And, and actually, the biggest thing I want to say is to the Russian community, like, please, um, the only people that are probably going to be able to convince Putin this is a terrible idea is his own people. Jaroslav and his family say they're positive their people will fight to save their country. The CDC announced some new mask guidelines. Healthy people can stop wearing them in areas where COVID is posing a low to medium threat, which includes all counties here in Connecticut. The new guidelines say that you're no longer to required to wear them on private or public school buses either, but bus drivers say they will still follow the TSA mask mandate, which is still in effect. We as the, uh, the operators have to be responsible and follow with the legislation the impacts on us. And we'll take the extra masks with us so that we can give them to the kids. The CDC's latest guidance means more than 70% of Americans can now take a break from wearing a mask. All right, everyone, hope you're having a great Saturday. But yes, it is a chilly day out there. Yesterday, we had winter storm Cecilia that brought snow, that brought some freezing rain. So roads still might be a little bit icy heading out the door. The good news is, though, we're going to see a good amount of sunshine for today. Temperature is below average in the low 30s. Tonight, it's going to be chilly once again back in the teens. Tomorrow, we do have the chance of some flurries in the afternoon. Otherwise, temperatures a little bit milder and some really cold air moving in for the last day of February, which is on Monday.